and welcome. Good evening. It's going to uh, be another waffly video doing nothing much but talking uh, because it's still winter so uh, nine times out of ten whenever I get to my destination it's always dark uh, and so there's probably not much point in uh, making a video if it's dark because as we already know this camera is just completely useless in the dark but uh, yes anyway as you probably have already guessed by now at this point in time we have managed to survive the disaster uh, at the end of the world December 21st it is now almost the end of the year <coughs> right <coughs> excuse me uh, it's 29th of December right now so there's a couple of days to go before the actual end of the year but uh, this is the last day for me that I will be working this year so I've got a couple of days off uh, three days actually which is quite nice because I had three days off over Christmas as well so uh, six days off in two weeks that's quite nice so uh, yes we've survived it is now the end of the year but you already know that because you've already watched my videos up till this point since I've started uh, uploading them again and since we're near the end of the year let's just have a quick count of how many jobs we've done this year I am currently working job number 112,247 of the year uh, we've got two days left so there will obviously be another few hundred more jobs before then and when I say jobs I don't mean loads as you go to a shop you drop the load off and sometimes not all the time but sometimes you bring back D kits that's technically two loads and you have ones uh, like the six wheel video I done uh, in that one I had three loads in that one job so when that says 112,000 and something hundred whatever it was uh, there's actually been more loads than that probably nearer 200,000 loads in one year so uh, yes we're fairly busy fairly busy this year uh, and that's just out of one depot of course we've got three others soon to be four uh, which is due to be opening sometime soon I don't know when they keep changing the date but uh, Anyway, I've had a change of job today. <coughs> I was supposed to be doing uh, Caldecott and Clifton in Bristol, but I've had it changed to Bridport, and I have actually today got uh, the rear steer on, and I said I was going to do a video on it, uh, but I won't be doing it today because one it will be dark by the time I get there like I've already said and two I technically have already done it it's just you haven't seen it yet because I haven't um, I haven't edited it together to put it on the end of the queue to upload because I want to buy a camera to do some external shots of it that I will be buying hopefully in the next couple of weeks or so beginning of January uh, so I've 95% done the video but you won't see it until after this one if you follow what I mean yes it's starting to get a bit complicated uh, about what I should be and shouldn't have done and what I have and haven't done or it's getting a bit complicated let's just put it that way 
starting to end up a bit like uh, Looper. Getting complicated time travel, this, that and the other. And it's getting difficult to follow. But anyway, like I said, I was on going, uh, supposed to be going to Clifton, which is in Bristol. Which neatly brings me on to Deal or No Deal, which I went to see filmed uh, back in the beginning of December on the 9th. And it won't have appeared on your TV until March the 7th, where you would have seen a bloke called Marcus win 16 grand. So if you happen to be watching Deal or No Deal on March the 7th, and every time the camera faces the audience, you've got the central block, haven't you? And the bit off to the right and the bit off to the left. I was at the very bit at the back on the left. So you probably wouldn't have been able to see me, see me, but I was there on March the 7th with a guy called Marcus winning 16 grand. To prove it, it's 29th of December, you haven't seen it, the guy, no not guy, the banker, uh, done some rapping in the audience, not in the audience, over the speaker system to everyone in the audience. And Marcus actually done some rapping as well. And after the banker done some rapping, if that is the banker doing the rapping and not someone else, he sounded very familiar. Uh, in fact, he sounded an awful lot like the warm-up guy who joined us before recording started. So, uh, yes, I have no proof, but I'm going to say the warm-up guy is the banker. Uh, and I'll leave it at that for deal or no deal. I've been there, uh, blah, 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 down. Uh, I think I did mention in the video about we've got these new triaxle trailers. Uh, I can't remember if I, <coughs> if I mentioned at all. Uh, whether I thought they were not the full fat two metre longer trailers but only the one metre longer trailers I did have my suspicions that they would just be the one metre longer trailers because of the spacing of the three axles and it turns out I was right uh, they're only one metre longer but they are longer trailers nonetheless and because we have to fill out all this faff paperwork to tell the government where the trail is going, how heavy it is, this, that and the other. And there are a huge amount of places that we can take it to. Uh, I can see why some people in management didn't want it. Yes, it is a bit of a faff. And a pain in the backside, really. But uh, hey-ho, we've got them, we might as well use them. And, uh, yes, there we go. I got to use it as last week during the uh, crazy hecticness of the week before Christmas. I actually tied up how many hours I'd done last week and it was 66 and a half hours. So, yes, I was uh, a bit knackered by the end of the week. It was a six day week doing on average, what's that, just over 10 hours a day. And I had some uh, rather interesting stuff that I don't normally do or experience, such as a said long trailer. Uh, I also went to the Isle of Wight, uh, Wight and uh, <coughs> oh God. I must be getting a cold that everyone's got at home. I'm the only one that hasn't got it yet. Because I'm hard. Oh, you'll never get me cold. Come on. I challenge you. But anyway, I may be developing it now. And uh, yes, I went to the Isle of Wight. There was a trailer already on the dock, so I couldn't drive down into the arm and spin round. 
had to spin round at the top of the road and nearly do a 180 degree blindside reverse down the service road where I then had to uh, park my trailer next to the one that was already there and then shunt the trailers around which uh, I don't know if you've ever done it but you can use the lazy man shunting technique which is to sort of save on effort and work you just back under the trailer jack the suspension right up as far as it goes and I'm wondering if I have actually mentioned this in the last video I can't remember that but I'll say again just in case uh, you reverse under the trailer jack the suspension right up as hard as it'll go so that's uh, you don't have to bother winding the legs up then just whack the red airline on so it frees up the trailer brakes and away you go Way. around the yard here there and everywhere and uh, yeah you've got no lights you've got no brakes but it saves a hell of a lot of effort having to wind up the old legs put all the airlines on and electrics and all that so it saves a lot of effort here yeah. and I almost had a very long night as if my days weren't long enough last week because there was me and another guy raced to the smiley face building the dark store and because uh, my fridge was on defrost I have to wait for it to start working again so he actually managed to beat me there Damn it! I should have beat him there, annoyingly, because I was actually first out the office to get going, which was rather annoying, so he beat me there, so I have to wait for him to unload, and then he drove off the dock, and I went on uh, the dock and unload and came out, and he was still sat there. And I went to drive off and he appeared and said, no, don't bother, oh, I'm not going nowhere, I've broken down. So, uh, yes, that was very useful. We broke down right in the entrance to where the gate is. Uh, yes, no air pressure, and a very odd electrical ozone smell coming from his truck. So the brakes locked and it wouldn't start again. And he went going nowhere, so... I thought I was going to be in for a very long night but uh, yes, whilst he was on the phone to transport I was walking around wondering what to do entertaining myself and then I happened to notice that the gap alongside the left hand side of his truck was uh, just a bit wider than the truck So uh, I left him suitably unimpressed as I managed to manoeuvre my truck round and just about managed to get out and then leave him. So yeah, goodbye, I'm off. <laughs> I'm not in for a long evening anymore. See ya. So yes, yeah, so that left him impressed as I managed to get out and get away. I could have finished earlier, but I could have finished a lot later. And that about sums it up for today. Look at my professional cue card. See, I don't have to keep picking it up today and look at it. Yes, I suspect this video is probably getting on for about 20-25 minutes now, which is way more longer than you're ever interested in something boring like this. So, goodbye, uh, have a good year, happy new year to you all. Six, seven months late probably, but uh, it's better late than never. And, uh, yes, until next time. 
see you then.